all of us who are parents certainly hope our kids won't keep any secrets from us, but just how honest should we be about our own indiscretions with our kids? Our early show contributor Debbie Turner went looking for answers in today's Life Matters. Good morning, Debbie. This Good. is an interesting question. This is, and simply put, it's to tell or not to tell. You know, sometimes the hardest thing about our past is how to share it with our future. But how much to tell and when to tell is a complicated question for parents and kids alike. My aunt told me that my, my grandmother was against my parents' marriage and she went and married him anyways. Oh. Can you believe that? Oh my God. Sometimes kids just love knowing their parents' dirty laundry and sometimes they don't. With a show of hands, how many think that your parents should tell you everything about their past and their indiscretions? All right. How many think that your parents shouldn't tell you everything? I wouldn't want to know every single detail or everything that she did. I would just want to know, you know, how was your life in the past before I came into it? These kids in the New York City Youth Journalism Program Children's Press Line have plenty to say about how much they want to know about their parents' past. If your parents were in some kind of like really big trouble, you wouldn't want to know about that because that would just put like extra weight on your shoulders. I don't think that it'll be weight on your shoulders because when they when they tell you they did something when it was wrong, you just because they did it, that doesn't mean you have to do it. I don't want to know every single little detail. Good thing, because Marie's mom isn't telling. There are some things that are best left in the past, and you just move ahead. But Paris's dad has a different philosophy. If he gets into a situation at school, I usually tell him what happened when I was younger to, you know, try to parallel it, uh -huh. and usually it works. It's the rare kid who wants to hear the details about their parents' lives at any age. Adolescent psychologist Ronnie Cohen Sandler believes that parents should avoid sharing their steamy secrets. Um, what you want to do is you want to take your child's question and you want to kind of put it back on them. You don't have to talk about your own experience. You can turn it around and help your child to see that their question is really about them and you put the focus on them where it should be. I think that if a child asks you a specific question, it deserves a direct answer. Alan Manovitz, a family psychiatrist, says that parents really shouldn't fudge on the details. If you're not honest about your past, why should you expect your child to be honest about their present? What is the harm of being open and just telling them all the details? Won't they like you better? I don't think you should be trying to build friendship with your teenagers. If you think that telling them about your transgressions is going to make them feel like they can tell you more about their transgressions, that usually doesn't work. Do you guys think your parents should be more parents or that they should be your friends? Oh, 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 oh. You don't want a parent who's like, okay, you're going to a party, I don't care what time you're coming back. You want to know that they care also. But caring is not necessarily the same as full disclosure. You don't have to give them how much, where, when, any of those sort of details. That's still answering a question directly and then going on to talk about the concerns of your particular child. When your teenager is getting to be in the early adult years and you're having more of an adult-to-adult -adult relationship with them, when they don't need you to be a parental authority, that's when you can start revealing more about yourself and become more of an equal. Whatever you decide to disclose to your children, the experts both that we spoke with both say that it is important not to paint yourself as a saint because your kids will see right through that. And quite frankly, Hannah, the higher you are in their eyes, the harder you'll fall.